The question for today is how to increase the realism in your materials by adding surface imperfections, and to demonstrate this, we will use a simple metal object, we did split the workspace to open a shading window, and by default it will have the principal BSDF node, so we can first add the basic values to this elements and make it as a metal material, with the metallic value on 1, and with the roughness on low levels, we can get a quite good metal, however, if you take a second look, you would see something wrong or missing, and that's because the object is way too clean, so, to add some realism to it, we have those black and white maps, an easy way to get those is by googling them, and just type imperfection or grunge textures, and you will get a number of results, there are also sites like Polygon, 3D textures and ambient CG that offers many of those for free. So once you get your hand on some of those, you can just click and drag it here before the principal BSDF node, change the type to non color, and connect it to the roughness input. The column now is of two parts one is reflective and the second is rough, and that shape or pattern is what the texture provide. We can hit CTRL and SHIFT over the grunge texture to view it separately on the object, and this will make it more obvious for adjustment. So with this map, we can first make it the opposite way to get the reflection on most of the column, and we do that by adding an invert node after the grunge map. By doing that we make most of the object reflective and the roughness area will look like a paint damage. We can further control this by adding a color ramp before the invert node, with this one, we can take the color slider from each side to control both the reflective and the rough parts. We can also by hitting CTRL T on the texture, add the mapping node, which offers you the location, scale and rotation adjustment on this pattern, so let us change the scale to 5 and see how it looks, metal damage need a small scale, however, make sure the pattern is not obviously repeated on the object. Once we are done with the mapping node, we can tweak the paint damage a bit to make it pops up, there should be bump difference between the reflective and the rough parts, and to do that we use the bump node, so hit shift A to add it, then connect it to the normal input, after that we need to connect the color ramp into the bump height. The strength is quite huge, so hold the shift key over this value and bring it down. Then do the same thing with the distance value, the bump might seem small in the end and not that noticeable, but it will add more realism to this element. With this method you can add imperfections to metal, glass, or even stone elements, you can also add a specific pattern to any area by mixing grunge textures and fixing the UV maps, or even by using the image as plain with shrink wrap modifier, so that's it, hope this been useful to you guys. Stay sharp, goodbye.